friends. Welcome to the Keys to Success podcast. I am your host, Nally Brett Daggerhart, and I am an intuitive business coach, master communicator, leader, energy worker, essential oils expert, and a lover of chai tea lattes. When I'm not coaching clients or managing projects, you can find me in the mountains of North Carolina, exploring, hiking, and having a good time with my family. I believe that we are the master creators of our life. I believe our triggers and struggles are a catalyst for the growth that our soul is meant to experience. I believe you can have an amazing level of impact and receive great wealth without hustling 40 plus hours a week. I believe we are capable of creating a life and business by our design once we gain clarity on our personal definition of success. This podcast is a place where I start breaking down the keys to success as I see it. And I plan to get a little more personal here than on any other platform. I'll share about my journey as a parent who balances both personal life and a job and a business. I'm excited to have you here I'm excited to share this space with you and give you a deeper glimpse into my life, my challenges, and what I'm creating both for myself and the community around me. Thanks for listening. Now let's begin. Welcome back to the Keys to Success podcast. Today, I want to talk to you about what I call the art of growth. So personal growth is something that we all experience. We can try to delay it or avoid it, but sooner or later it will happen. You know, there's one constant in life and that is change. And with change comes personal growth and growing pains. I experienced a lot of growth in the last two years. In 2022, I committed to handling everything head on. I decided this was the year, no more delaying. I'm just going to take things, take the punches as they come. So what that really meant was no more waiting, no more avoiding the inner work that I was being asked to do. And I even set the intention with God, you know, universe, source, you do you folks, that I was ready and willing. Bring it on. Now, anytime you set intentions to bring on the inner work, be ready for the tests and the triggers to flow. Boy, did the growth come in with great waves and momentum at times. (laughs) And, you know, if we are asking for great opportunities and experiences in life, then we really must be open and willing to do the inner work in order to welcome these amazing things in our life. And that is essentially in a nutshell why I said, bring it on, because I have big dreams, big goals. Let's do it. Now, today, what I want to do is I want to share with you some of the revelations that I had as I went through this massive movement of growth. And, you know, really with growth came a lot of shedding in these last few years. So I'm going to share you kind of like my top five tips here. So the first thing I'll I'll talk on is that growth comes in cycles. You know, personal growth on certain things in life will continue to come back in cycles to be healed on deeper and deeper levels. And this is important to note because this doesn't mean that you, you know, didn't learn the lesson the first time. It just means that you're being asked to look at it on a deeper layer. And I always look or talk about a, like a picture of an onion. And so, you know, there's many layers on the onions. And so once you heal the outer layer, you might be done with that story or theme for a while, but eventually it will come up again in a trigger or another test to ask you to dig deeper. It's completely normal. The next thing I noted was that prioritizing your growth means setting boundaries. And you really need to be selective with who gets your time, your energy, and your space. And, you know, one of the outcomes of of growth really is the realization that not everyone should actually get equal amount of your time. You're going to become hyper aware of those that you know, have been lingering in your space, maybe taking advantage. And also those that feed off your energy, you know, energy vampires. And this is just kind of confirmation if you need it, or maybe permission that it is okay to set boundaries 
And the great thing about setting boundaries is you can actually do this energetically without speaking a word. So it's not like you need to reach out to someone and say, hey, you're an energy vampire. I want to put boundaries up. No, what you actually can do is just set the intention personally that you are going to, you know, pull your energy back, not give as much to a certain person. Again, intention, energetically, nothing ever needs to be said to the person. Another realization that I had was that growth is lonely. You're going to outgrow people. Uh, this one has been one of the hardest for me to swallow personally. You know, as you grow personally, you're going to stop being an energetic match for those not on the same path. And what this means is that you're simply going to fall out of sync with some people. But on the flip side, you will grow closer in flow with others. And there will be times when it feels as if no one gets you, you know, no one in your closer circles gets you, but that's okay. You're going to find people that are striving for more, uh, that have the same passion, the same fire in their soul. So just keep the faith and trust that you'll have the right people pull towards you. On that note, another thing I noticed was that your growth will become a major trigger for others. You know, although they are dear to, near and dear to my heart, being in my presence is a huge trigger for many people in my life. Um, I would say going from my 20s to 30s was a huge, huge personal growth period for me. And then from about 31, 32 to 40 was an even bigger leap. So although I'm still in contact with a lot of people from, you know, childhood, from my 20s, from my 30s, um, not everybody's on the same path. And I do know that my success has been a trigger. So, you know, do you stop evolving? You know, do you, do you worry about your light shining too bright? The answer is no. You know, the way I see it is I still have so much left to accomplish. My mission, my purpose is too important to stop because other people are avoiding their own work. So I must keep going for those looking for the light to follow because that's part of my purpose. That's part of my goal is, is helping move people forward that are asking for more, that are wanting to define their, their version of success. So no, I will not stop. <laughs> and the final tip is that you aren't meant to save everyone. Um, sometimes when we have these massive aha moments in our life, we feel it's our duty to pass this information on to everyone. We must save everyone. This is an amazing discovery. And, you know, me personally, I always see people's greatest potential before they are ready or willing to hear it. And that has been a huge learning curve for me that although I can see it, the other person might not be ready. So, you know, what I've learned with this is it's, you know, it's neither our job nor is it our responsibility to save others. Some people are not ready to follow. Some people are not willing to follow. And yes, you know, on a base level, quite a few of these people are resisting their greatest potential, but it's not our responsibility, folks. It's not our responsibility to push or force them to see it. And thus, it's, it's our responsibility to let them go. Because otherwise, what happens is they will continue to assume our energy, which, which doesn't allow our energy to be free for someone who's ready. And that was probably a big aha moment for me as someone who has coached people through my doTERRA essential oil business for nine years and also biz and life clients for the last, uh, I think it's about three or four years. I can see people's greatest potential immediately but sometimes they aren't ready for my advice or my help for another three years. So I must be patient. I must let them go. I must release the energy and be open and ready for those who are ready to hit the ground running, you know, ready to follow, willing to follow. Let's do this. That's the energy that will sync up with me immediately. But again, you must release the energy of those that are not ready to run. All right, that's all for today, friends. I hope you enjoyed this episode. 
If this resonated with you, feel free to share this podcast with your friends, your business besties, and family. Also, feel free to take a screenshot of this podcast, share it on your social media, and tag me in your post or story. I always enjoy seeing which episodes resonate with you the most.